Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be cooking two fantastic sea bream that I caught on a fishing trip out from Weymouth. It was a three day fishing trip and we went from Weymouth all the way to Alderney. We caught loads of species and if you want to see that video I'm going to be posting it out in the next couple of weeks so please don't miss that. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified of any future videos we put out. In the meantime, let me show you how I cook this bream. Well, the first thing we need to do with this fish is remove the scales. And one of the easiest ways of doing this I've found, so as not to make a great deal of mess, is to have a bowl of clean, cold water. And using the spoon, I just rub the fish from the tail to the head, lifting the scales as you go. You have to do this from the tail to the head, otherwise it just doesn't work. And you'll see the scales coming off there really nicely. And then as we drain this off, you can see all the scales in the bottom of the bowl. Splendid. Next thing I do is I remove all the fins. And to do this, I just use a pair of scissors. It can be a little bit tough, so make sure you've got yourself a beefy pair of scissors to do this. Flip it up and we'll take off the dorsal fin. Now this just makes handling the fish a lot easier. You're still obviously, when you're going to be eating this fish, you're going to still need to remove the bones that these sit on. And you can see it comes off really quite nicely. Once you get the scissors going, you can do that. Same to the base as well. We'll take off these fins too. These are a little bit tougher than the dorsals but they do still come off. And then we just remove the fins on the other side. And then the fish is literally ready to go. It's all ready to go onto the barbecue. I'll oil the skin beforehand so that it doesn't stick to the grill top. And then, uh, We'll be good to go. Okay, it's on with the charcoal starter and I'm using lump wood charcoal in this example. And I'm adding some oil and this is rapeseed oil and I'm just adding it to the skin, rubbing it in with my hands so that when we place these onto the grill, they don't stick. And that's one thing that will really tear the skin off and we don't really want to do that. It can make handling the fish very difficult. So onto the grill they go. And we're gonna throw on a little chunk of oak wood to give us a little bit of smoke. And just a bit of oil on this side. And yes, I went a little bit heavy on the oil. So obviously you gotta keep your finger over the end when you do that but just a bit of oil on both sides just to stop these sticking when we turn them. And this bream is quite a delicate fish and they're not that thick so we only really want to cook them on this charcoal for a couple of minutes either side. I think on this example I did about three minutes on either side. I'm using a fish slice to turn it here and you can see the destruction on the skin so just be aware of that, that it can be very very soft to turn it over. In this example I lifted the tail just to get it onto the fish slice and that made turning it so much easier. I just want to protect the skin here and pop it back so that the fish doesn't dry out. Well try not to damage the skin where we can but hey ho. done on both sides now and it's time to get them off and rest them. Now because of the heat in these fish they will still carry on cooking as they uh, as they cool down. As you take them off they will carry on cooking. So you can see there a little bit of the tails come off. I mean that's a good indication that it's cooked certainly in the tail. I don't like to overcook fish. It's a real kind of crime to do that you don't really want to do that but here they are they've got a lovely smoky aroma to them a little bit of lemon and it's on with some 
pan cooked chips and some salad and that's ready to taste right let's give this a little taste Beautiful. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, click that bell icon so that you get notified of any future content. And if you fancy subscribing, costs you nothing, then please do. And you'll get to see all our content as and when we publish it. In the meantime, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.